My speech, uh, my talk will cover um, the PRT system uh, that's in operation at Heathrow Airport. We've got a, a short video uh, which hopefully will give you a bit of understanding of, of what on earth I'm about to talk about. Ultra stands for Urban Light Transit, a new concept in travel for the 21st century. Ultra is an automated transit system using many four-person, zero-emission electric vehicles. London's Heathrow Airport hosts the world's first Ultra system. Ultra brings a fresh approach to traffic congestion and pollution, responding to the needs of passengers. Modern communications and location sensing technology allow vehicles to run at precisely controlled intervals, creating a high capacity system. Ultra is easy to use. After making your choice, Ultra will take you there non-stop. The vehicles allow easy access for bikes and wheelchairs, with plenty of space for people, backpacks and briefcases. Moving smoothly and silently, the battery-powered vehicles are safe and reliable. Ultra is transit for a sustainable future. It took me five minutes from start to finish, and I did not have to wait at all. It is quite clean and smart and fast, and much quicker than waiting for a coach. And the idea of saving 50,000 plus journeys a year has got to be a great thing. The main thing I like is the fact that it's really eco-friendly. For the first time, it was simple to use and very intuitive. Blending in easily with modern architecture, Ultra is well suited to serve offices and airports. The network accommodates non-stop, point-to-point, direct service to all stations, leaving tracks around buildings with tight turns, bringing transit right to the front door, placing many stations close together. Ultra stations can be located adjacent to buildings or even directly on the second floor, further increasing convenience. Ultra makes transit and carpooling more effective, connecting a single train station to 30,000 desks. Stations are on a separate track so that stopped vehicles do not interfere with the free flow of passing traffic. It's quick, comfortable, and convenient. With Ultra, you don't wait for vehicles. Vehicles wait for you. So, um... What is Ultra and how does it meet the challenges of future transport and sustainable cities? Well, um, first to tell you a little bit of what it succeeded in doing at Heathrow. We've demonstrated um, a new type of transportation system, personal rapid transport, that's on demand. Um, we're looking at making people's journeys better so that instead of them um, changing the way in which they travel on the basis of a saintly choice, it's a choice because they prefer to take a different option. And we've proven that at Heathrow Airport, where the system has been warmly received by all those who've used it. I'm thankful to, uh, to Jamie for mentioning the, that congestion uh, is a problem even for electric vehicles. Uh, what we're looking to do is to put in a, another layer of transport options that uses a combination of automation, dedicated lightweight guideways, and small vehicles to give people a cleaner, uh, quicker choice for transportation. And the system isn't a toy. I know it only looks like a small vehicle carrying four people. How can that change the world? Well, we've been open for just under 18 months, and we've carried 450,000 passengers at Heathrow Airport, even though we're only supporting one of the car parks and going to one of the terminals. That's taken 50,000 bus journeys off the congested roads around the airport campus. That frees up space for other transportation to move smoothly. And congestion is the killer of all efficiency, whether that be of time or of energy consumption. Beyond Heathrow, we are looking at systems in city centres. We have already uh, agreed the construction of a system in India where it will carry in excess of 50,000 passengers a day between bus and rail station and the Amritsar Golden Temple, a site of significant interest, much like the Taj Mahal, where internal combustion engine vehicles are completely banned, but our electric, battery-driven vehicles 
can approach very close indeed to minimize the walk in extremely hot conditions. We are seen as a complementary technology. We offer the first and last mile of people's journey. Public transport is very efficient and useful at making long journeys, but people don't use it because it's very difficult to make the first and last mile connection. With a low-cost PRT solution, you can see increased usage of existing and future uh, public transportation systems, uh, including rail uh, and light rail services. I'd like you to think a little bit less about London. I know we're in their, their chamber here. Uh, and more about other cities, because London has a very integrated transportation system. But if you think of somewhere like Bristol or Oxford or Cambridge or Slough, or as I believe the people who live there call it, Greater Windsor, um, these places will never have uh, a tube system. They're unlikely to have any other transportation options beyond car and bus. And if those are the only two alternatives, then you will always get road congestion. A lightweight, cheap alternative like PRT, offers the opportunity to get people out of cars and onto other modes of transportation. It works because it's small and light. We carry the same amount of passengers as other transport modes by using small vehicles but frequently moving them along our guideway. And that also contributes to the reduced cost of installation and the ability to install the system in very tight urban environments in very rapid time. I've gone as quickly as I can so that we can all get to our lunch fairly soon. Uh, thank you very much, and I'd be happy to talk to people afterwards.